is for growing exotic tropical plants. That's just one idea from a South London man who also saw a chance to bring greenery indoors when he bought a large stock of glass carboys. The discovery dates back over a hundred years, in days when tropical plants were kept in huge bottles for their long voyage to Victorian drawing rooms. Because of the narrow opening and protection against drafts, it's possible to grow many plants which normally thrive only in a humid climate. The problems of planting can't have changed much since Victorian times. It's still a job where the best tool is a teaspoon tied to a stick. Flat owners have really started the craze for bottle gardens. That's because, apart from an occasional watering, it can decorate a home for months without needing attention. The artificial, humid climate is produced because the water evaporates, condenses on the glass sides and runs down to the roots again. Soon, the bottle gardens may become an even rarer novelty because the heavy acid-carrying carboys aren't manufactured anymore. It's a green-fingered variation of that ship-in-the-bottle idea that's a bestseller in one famous Piccadilly store. There's no chance of feeling...